Code IJ and we are locked in. This is the recap for episode nine, Married to the Game, a Power Book 2 Ghost, episode nine. Now we do have one episode left and they stepped up episode nine just like we were expected. Now you see the title, Married to the Game. That means till death do us part. And unfortunately, we did lose somebody this week. R.I.P. to her. We'll get to that. But first, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, recaps, after show discussions, you're at the right spot. I'm that number one channel. You need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, turn on your notification bell and make sure you hit that like button. Let's try to get this to 100 likes. Now, let's get ready to jump into it. This is the recap of Married to the Game, episode nine, Kane and Noma become one starting the episode off we see kane and noma getting fitted noma's putting on her nice dress kane is trying out his suit texting the family to see if they coming through because this is a wedding even though it's business kane is starting to take this wedding a little bit too seriously he's thinking that him and noma they really about to become one the rest of the tahatas they sitting at the house playing dominoes they're getting text messages from kane even auntie janet came back now, Janet is like, we're going to go to this wedding. This is my nephew. That's your son and that's your brother. Y'all going to show up. We hear Drew saying, oh, man, I ain't worried about that damn wedding. I'm not going to that. Monet's like, man, I ain't trying to go to that funky wedding. They don't support Noma. Remember, at one point, they were working for her. In class, Tariq, Diana, Effie, Brusandria, they're getting prepared for their final exams. This and the quiz that they take next week will be the final grade. Effie ends up getting a text message to Effie Morales from Stanford University. Congratulations, you've been selected. While Effie got the good news about getting accepted into Stanford, Tariq gets his test. He jumps right into it. Diana, she's looking around and you can tell that she's not feeling comfortable in the classroom. So she ends up removing herself for the classroom and Tariq is looking at Diana like, Diana, are, are you okay? She doesn't even look back. Tariq goes to his room and he ends up seeing Brayden in there. Now Brayden is supposed to be moving out, but Elle went to the hospital and she's not answering his calls. So right now, things aren't looking too good for him. But Tariq ends up getting a phone call from Don Carter. Now Don Carter and Noma, they've been working together. And right now, Don Carter is telling Tariq that there's a rogue dealer up in Staten Island at an abandoned amusement park. I need you to go up there. Tariq doesn't want to do it, plus he needs to study for these exams. Don Carter says, no, you're going to do it. You work for me. So he has Tariq right where he wants him. Drew is still on the job for Don Carter, and he's going to collect, see what these goons have. But when he gets there, they're kind of making fun of him and wondering, why is Tariq going up to Staten Island? So Drew is starting to get a little upset. He pulls the pistol out. He's like, what information do you have about Tariq going to Staten Island? They're like, man, look, Carter wanted to go up there and we would just wonder why he didn't send you. So Drew feels like Carter is pushing them out and bringing Tariq in. So this pisses Drew off. We also get introduced to Noma's brother, Chin. Now, he's asking any question that any man would ask his younger sister that's getting married to a man half her age. Who is he? Where do you know him from? And is this something you really need to be doing? Now, of course, Noma's trying to do this so she can get her citizenship, but he's peeping the seam and he's looking at how Kane is talking to Anya and he's trying to figure out what exactly does Kane do? What is his income? What is his job? Because Noma ain't who we think she is. It's a family business, not her own business. It wouldn't be a power season if we didn't have a dinner table scene. And Monet shows up with Diana and Drew and now everyone's going around the table questioning each other. First, they're getting on Kane, calling him out. Monet says, this is my condo. I let Kane and Drew stay here. Anya saying, well, I thought you owned it. Then Noma's brother is saying, hmm, that's funny. How do you know Mecca, AKA Dante? Then we hear Diana expose that Monet and Dante grew up together, but they don't go in details that they were messing around. Dante used to work for Noma's family business with her brother. So everyone is all over the place. It wasn't a major exposure, but there was some exposure and Diana, she kept her composure. After the dinner, Noma and Monet, they have a conversation. And Noma, she's saying, listen, let's squash our beef, Monet. I'm about to marry your son. Let's get on the same page. So Monet said, all right, if we're gonna do that, I need me some money then. So Noma says, okay, good. Listen, I don't normally keep money on me, but I do have 
a stash up in Staten Island at an abandoned amusement park. Here's the key. You can have that work. Monet's like, well, shoot, that's good because I do need some money. Not knowing that Noma has been talking to Don Carter. And remember, they just sent Tariq up there also to find a rogue dealer. We get introduced to a cousin by the name of Bronze, played by Lil Dirt. Now they're out for Kane's bachelor party and they're at that abandoned, yeah, I said it, abandoned bar that the Tejadas own. Now they having a grand old time. Kane is making fun of Drew, talking about watch what you saying, Bronze. The feds could be listening, AKA Drew working with Don Carter. Now Bronze does get into it with his friends because they said he was tripping, but they squash all this. This is a bachelor party. During this bachelor party, we find out about Drew potentially having a chance to go to Paris. Diana, she's telling Drew, listen, I can't focus. When I'm in school, all I'm thinking about is the streets. When I'm in the streets, all I'm thinking about is school. But she ends up getting a phone call from their auntie Janet. And Janet is saying, hey, I don't know where Monet is, but I did hear that she was going up to Staten Island because Noma sent her. Now behind Diana and Drew, Effie and Kane are having a conversation and she's saying that the Russians, Batum, is going up to Staten Island. So Drew and Diana hear this information and they think that something is off. So they need to go check on Monet and Tariq who are about to be up at Staten Island. When Tariq and Monet get to Staten Island, they run into each other and then it hits them. Wait, you're here because of Noma? And she said, you're here because of Carter? Damn it, they done set us up. And guess who's here? Bottom and one of his right hand men. Now, remember, he ran away during the police raids and he's been beefing with Monet for a while. So this is him licking his chops. Like, yeah, we got you right where we want you. Don Carter and Noma, they set up the perfect trap. Unfortunately for the Russians, Drew and Diana, they got the drop. They went up to Staten Island and took them out. Monet even picked up the chop and finished them off. So now they have to come up with a plan. And Monet says, Don Carter, and Noma believe that we're unalive. So what do they do? Continue to pretend to be dead. They tell Drew to get his tool kits. They remove fingers. Then they blow up the truck that the Russians were in to make it seem like it was Tariq and Monet. The next day, Noma goes to talk to Don Carter and Nico. Now, Nico did take the 50,000 and we don't know if Nico has actually flipped on Don Carter or not yet. But they're sitting here and Noma is talking big cash money. Y'all need to figure out if she's on alive. She's messing up what I got going on. Don Carter said, first of all, we don't control forensic and you're not going to talk to us like this. So when we find out, we'll let you know. But as of right now, it appears that they are gone. Now, Noma hears this and she ends up calling Kane and she's talking to Kane just to make sure that everything is still on. We got to get this wedding cracking. Tariq flips out. He meets up with Davis at the warehouse. He's like, man, what the hell is going on? These dudes think they can play with me. Tariq is knocking over all these empty boxes on these shelves. He's upset. I'm Tariq St. Patrick. I took out my own father. How could they do this to me? Who they think I am? And David's like, hey, bro, you need to calm down. But we need to link up with Monet, Drew, and Diana and come up with a plan because we got to get Don Carter up and out of here because it's looking bad for us. And then we can handle the Noma situation. Monet and the Dynamic Dummies, they meet up with Tariq and Davis McLean. And now they're figuring out how are we going to make this work? We got to get Noma. We got to get Don Carter. So Monet comes in and she's like, Tariq, what can you do? How can we make this happen? Well, first, we're going to figure out Noma. So the plan is at the wedding, they're going to shoot at Noma and Kane. But Monet doesn't want Kane to be around. So they said, Davis or Diana will distract Kane in the lobby. Diana will talk to Kane. No one's not trying to hear family business. She'll leave. And from there, they'll be able to get a good shot off on Noma and Kane won't be around. Then they ask Drew about information about Don Carter. And he says he goes to the church. He does a couple of Hail Marys in the second booth from the end. Y'all can catch him there. Tariq is like, all right, I'll do that. So Monet and Tariq are going to go get Don Carter. Diana's gonna try to get Noma, and they're gonna need Effie to turn off the cameras at the church. So they're bringing Effie, and they need Braden, because this is not a one-man task, or should I say one-woman task. Davis tries to stall out Noma, 
And when he gets there, he's telling her she has to fill out some paperwork. She's like, it's my wedding day. She blows it off. Now in the hallway, we hear one of her hitmen on the phone. Like, where are the Russians at? We haven't heard from them. David said, hey man, you need to come with me. Don't go talk to Noma right now. She's mad. As he's driving, you can see that Davis is a little bit nervous. So when they pull over, he hops out with a gun. But this goon, he ain't playing that. He knocks the gun out of Davis's hand and they get to tussling. Davis ends up choking him out and he is spooked. Out of nowhere, he's scared as hell. But he drags his body into the woods. We're one step closer to Noma. It's time for the wedding. Drew and Diana show up because they gotta distract Kane to get at Noma. The wedding is beautiful. Noma came out, no disrespect to Kane. Noma came out on that all white. Beautiful. Davis showed up, changed his suit. Everyone is clapping. Congratulations on Mr. and Mrs. Kane Tejada. Drew start clapping. Diana telling him, calm down. <laughs> you don't need to be clapping about this. But it was a beautiful wedding. Now we're headed to the reception. At the church, we know Tariq is waiting in one of the confessionals. But in the back, we have Effie. She tased the security guard. He's out. Braden got the priest. He's out. But then Braden needs to take a little cocaine dancing dust break, a.k.a. that cocaina. He takes a hit of that. He asks Effie, does she want some? She's like, no, nah, man, we need to be here. Tariq told us no drugs. All right, there go Don Carter. Here we go. Don Carter enters into the confessional booth. When he closes the door, Tariq leaves his. He has that gun with the silencer on it. He hops out. He got the drop on Don Carter. He puts the gun to Don Carter and Don says, you be a fool to do this, Tariq. I got footage. You know that guy Zion? Yeah, I got a tape of it. So Tariq gets temporarily distracted. Boom, boom, knocks the gun out of Tariq's hand and puts him in handcuffs. They were supposed to be getting Don Carter, but Don Carter got Tariq. Braden and Effie, they hop in a 96 Impala, SS. Now they chasing down Don Carter because Tariq is in the back. They told Monet, Monet's like, God dog it. So Monet gets up out of here. They're chasing down Don Carter. They go into some construction zone. I don't know where Don Carter's taking Tariq, but when they get over there, Braden, high as he want to be, he rams Don Carter's vehicle into a truck. And Effie is like, Braden, what the heck did you just do? At the reception, word gets around that Monet and Tariq are still alive, thanks to Don Carter. So now we see Noma asking Kane, you're either with me or you're with your family. And Kane is like, what? She said, don't worry about it. You know, we're not gonna draw too much attention to ourselves, but everyone in your family, Drew, Diana, security got them. His cousin, Bronze and his crew, security got them. So basically, Noma is saying, are you gonna be with me, Kane? Or are you gonna help your family out? Because Monet, she's messing up the operation. And in the warehouse, Don Carter finally wakes up. Tariq is in the back of the vehicle. They wake him up. And all you hear Don Carter say to Tariq is, what's your next move, Tariq? You know I got that footage on you, so how are you gonna move? Because if I don't report in, or my people on the task force don't hear from me, they're gonna flip the city upside down. That means trouble trouble so Tariq is in a predicament right now well Monet heads back to the wedding she got to get to the reception because they didn't got Tariq so she's basically like the hell with that let me go help my own kid when she gets there Drew and Diana snatched up Monet catches two bodies choo, choo. Ping, ping. got the silencer on both security guards down and she's like where's Kane at they said they got him no no one got him ma so Drew and Diana said they're gonna come in the house with Monet she said nah I got this one. And from there, we see Monet go on a killing spree. I'm talking about ping, 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 ping. I'm counting bodies. One, two, three, four, ping, 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 five, six, ping, 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 seven, eight, ping, 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 nine, ten, ping, 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 nine, ping, 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 ping. I'm like, geez, Louise, Monet didn't caught about 12 bodies at this point. Bodies are dropping everywhere. I said, oh, Lord. And she finally makes it to the final boss where she kicks in the door and guess who's in there it's a shootout between monet two pistols tahada versus noma and her henchmen kane yelled f you to noma i'll never turn on my mom monet came through pow pow ping 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 laying everybody down but unfortunately 
It was just too many guns versus Monet. Noma got a couple of shots off. Her brother got a couple of shots off. The two other henchmen got some shots off in Monet. Well, here she lays. And the last thing we see is Monet laying on the ground, surrounded by her three loved ones. Kane Tejada, Drew Tejada, Diana Tejada. It was an ugly sight. But Monet went out like Cleo on set it off. And she did it for her kids. All the time she threw them under the bus, she took some hot rounds to make sure that her kids could have a better tomorrow. All right, there you go. The recap for episode nine, Married to the Game. Let me know, did you expect Monet to go out like that? I didn't think we would see Monet step up and go out like a G. I was thinking it may have been some one-on-one -on -one action. Also, do you believe that Tariq is going to do anything with Don Carter or they're going to have to let him go because Tariq might not be built like that? Let me know what you think. I'm Mo IJ. We got one episode left. Man, it's about to be a crazy week to see how Tariq and the Tejada Trio have going to overcome with Don Carter and Noma Tejada have in store. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.